How's it going, folks? Welcome to a new episode of Hot Topic. As always, I'm Gary7MT for the GTA Series Videos crew. This video shines the spotlight on the latest news, images, and official trailer of GTA Online Heists. First announced more than a year ago, heists are now clearly an important new part of the GTA Online experience, thanks to the new features, gameplay, mechanics, and contents. I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. The players have been ready for a long time, Lester. It was somebody else who wasn't ready. First of all, despite numerous claims by all the wannabe leakers who swear up and down they have uncles or friends who work at Rockstar, we still don't have an official release date for the heists. And surely this new DLC won't come with the festive surprise update they've already released. Rockstar has announced that GTA Online heists are coming early in 2015 for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, and PC for free. Considering that the PC platform was mentioned, we can predict with some certainty that this DLC won't be available in January, maybe not even before the end of February. Also in the coming weeks, Rockstar will announce the official minimum and recommended system requirements for the upcoming PC version of GTA 5. But let's get off what we don't know for sure and focus on what we do. Now, thanks to the aforementioned trailer, images, and interview that Ryan McCaffrey from IGN.com had with Imran Sarwar, I hope I didn't murder your name, producer and lead mission designer of GTA Online, we know a lot more than we did about how these online heists are gonna work. And here's the lowdown. First of all, each heist requires four players at all rank 12 or above with one player as the heist leader who must own a high-end apartment where jobs will be planned inside a designated room. Rockstar is giving the DLC5 unique strands with a total of 20 missions. Playing a single heist with your friends would take about an hour, but these missions are deep, well-written plays, replayable in different positions for each member. For five heists, translating into a total of 20 hours of wild, unpredictable, engaging gameplay. Once the job is selected, our contact will show the crew what we need to perform the score. Then the leader, who has to pay up front to fund the job, has to decide the cut and the role for each member of the crew. How much you earn from a job depends on how you do with the heist. Inspiring sublime play are big cash rewards called elite bonus challenges. Available to players who complete each part of the heist meeting the gold medal criteria inherited from GTA 5. Practically speaking, this means time to complete, damage taken, accuracy, and more bonus objectives are monitored, judged, and rewarded. Over the past months, Leaked info surfaced on the net revealing that 100,000 to 1,500,000 of GTA cash can be earned. Based on what Steve Hacker from 7sins.com found months ago inside the 1.17 patch codes, we also know that there's a good chance online heists will come along with 10 new achievements and trophies, and that we have a total of 25 gold medals to earn. That is, five gold medals for each of the five aforementioned strands. So, technically, each heist could come with a total of four preparatory missions and then the heist finale. Confirmed by some images and trailer scenes, we know the names of three of the five jobs. The Pacific Standard Job, the Humane Labs Raid, and the Prison Break. The Pacific job is the one Rockstar showed a year ago in the original GTA Online launch trailer. The Pacific Standard is a bank located in downtown Vinewood at the intersection of Alta Street and Vinewood Boulevard. The second job, the Humane Labs Raid, instead requires a team to use night vision goggles to infiltrate humane laboratories, incidentally the same location as the GTA 5 mission Monkey Business. The other heist is an unknown mission, but tied to an aircraft carrier. 
Here, we can see the team approach the objective on a dinghy and then steal various military jets. And one of these is the long-awaited Hydra. This heist is probably inspired by the Vertical Bird mission in GTA San Andreas. From one of the new screenshots, we can see a very familiar number, well disguised on the carrier's runway. The fifth heist instead involves the robbery at the Fleeka Bank, where the team also meets Paige Harris, the high-end hacker from the GTA 5 heists, and use a returning vehicle from GTA 3, the Karen Kuruma which was also the first vehicle ever to be used when the GTA series made its 3D universe debut. Now this vehicle has to be collected somehow by a cargo bob with a big ass magnet connected to the hook. Apparently the job involves a prep mission that goes down at the Vinewood racetrack in Los Santos. So maybe we can look forward to robbing the well-known casino in pure GTA San Andreas style. And speaking of the casino, thanks to the past month's leaks, we know there's a possibility that Rockstar will release a gambling DLC, adding an accessible casino in Los Santos, and for the player, the ability to make or lose money by playing poker, blackjack, roulette, or even buying lottery tickets. A lot more can be said about the third known score prison break if you don't mind getting the lowdown ahead of time. Hang on. Spoiler alert! Okay. In the prison break, the crew has to bust a guy called Rashkovsky out of the Bolingbroke Penitentiary. To do so, the team will need a vellum, a prison bus, police uniforms, and some explosives. The vellum will be stolen from some Vago smugglers, probably on the Grapeseed airstrip. The bus will be snatched off the highway, and once the area is clear of cops, stored in a specific location. Another mission requires the gang to split into two teams. Two guys will wear police uniforms and get in the police station to retrieve the transport schedule. Two others will instead have to steal a car from a cargo ship. The last mission, called Wet Work, requires reaching a lawyer outside City Hall and probably killing him. Again, the gang is split into two groups, but other than that, no other reliable info on this fourth prep mission is available. Once everything is in place, the four-part finale starts. First, you gotta park the stolen bus inside the prison, probably to blow up the walls. This justifies the demolition team member. Once the prison walls are open, the team has to make its way to Rashkovsky. Once the dude has been located, the team has to clear the area from the noose, and then splits again because Rashkovsky and some others make their way to the vellum. But watch out, no more than three guys are going to have a get out of jail free card because the vellum only has four seats. The other team will probably use the retrieved car from the cargo ship. Both teams will then regroup on an unidentified beach before returning to the city. Maybe Rashkovsky stays on the vellum to escape San Andreas. From the trailer's info, we can gather the job's take is $550,000 and each and every prep mission requires four players, even if in two of these prep missions the team gets divided and has different independent objectives. Also, back at the leader's apartment, in the planning room, everything gets explained by a fifth guy, some new contact like Lester. Some have identified this man as Jeff, but unfortunately, there is no proof at the moment saying one way or the other just who the hell this guy is. And that more or less is everything we learned about the heists, but there's more. Both the trailer and images showed a lot of vehicles, airplanes, helicopters, outfits, and more that at the time being, especially when considered with the vehicles and planes, are probably exclusively tied to the heists and not available during the free roam or even in the story mode of GTA 5, which we remind you is a sequel to GTA Online. Let's start with the Karen Kuruma, a black matte car inspired by the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X. This vehicle is directly tied to the Fleeka job and probably used as a getaway vehicle by two members of the crew. In a couple of scenes, we can see two new APC tanks, one completely blinded without weapons and another with a rotating turret that can be controlled by another player. 
A variant of the Karen Rebel with a mounted machine gun and an armored truck will also be part of the heists, as will a new bike whose frame was inspired by the Ducati Monster S4R, exhaust by the Monster 1100, and headlight by the Aprilia Shiver. No name has been given yet, but expect it to be a Pegasi or Principe. Now, leaving land for the sea, we see not only the aforementioned aircraft carrier, but also the same yacht from GTA 5's mission, Daddy's Little Girl. GTA 5 aficionados will recall is the one where Michael has to retrieve Tracy. It's a good guess the yacht is probably involved in some way with the Fleeka job. Turning to the sky with the VTOL jet, which stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing, the Hydra. This military jet was requested by players and first added to GTA San Andreas and hasn't been seen since. In addition to the Hydra, we have new helicopters. The first is a bigger version of a Mil Mi-35, also known as Hind, which is practically the new Hunter. The second is a military helicopter, possibly based on the classic Huey, that is a Bell UH-1, with a nose-mounted machine gun and two side-mounted automatic miniguns, and with clear nose art that reads Zancudo. Not much we can say about weapons. Sure, we have night vision goggles, not exactly weapons, but still pretty useful for seeing in the dark. We can see a flare gun used by some dude on the beach to mark the location for the helicopter, probably for a crew member to cause mayhem with at the Humane Labs. <laughs> Another tool, surely tied solely to the heists, is the drill being used by a gang member to open a security box in the bank vault. New house interiors are shown with the possibility of playing darts with our friends, seen in this shot's background. As for clothing, a lot of new stuff's been added with the online heists. It appears that during the heists, you can use hazmat suits, police outfits, garbage collector outfits, and even earpieces to communicate with your teammates. You can also now use gloves with regular clothes or wear neckties loose. And while we're still on clothing, we'll get this new jacket. A black leather jacket with no stripes, a closed hoodie, and what seems to be a new ballistic vest. New masks were also added, like these monster masks, balaclavas, brown paper bag masks, and others. Also, you can expect to get this classic red Christmas stocking mask to appear in your inventory on December 25th. Of course, we can also expect brand new tattoos, haircuts, and beards. Well, that just about does it for now. Keep following us for new Hot Topic episodes focusing on other aspects of the Grand Theft Auto series together with new tips and tricks videos for both GTA 5 and GTA Online. This was Gary Seven, MT, for the GTA series videos crew. Till next time.